Hey guys and welcome back to Natural Curlies TV. Today I'm showing you how to make my very highly requested nourishing oil mixture so stay tuned. So first off I'm using sweet almond oil. This is the base to my hair oil mixture. It is a great conditioner for the hair and is extremely nourishing. So I add a lot of sweet almond oil to my mixture. Now I usually put castor oil in my hair mixture but on this occasion I didn't. I don't know why but I think I got distracted by one of the kids and I forgot to add this but castor oil is fantastic as it promotes hair growth and it has omega-6 fatty acids and that will really nourish your hair so if you can add some a little bit of a castor oil to your mixture. I add one of my favourite oils which is yoba oil. It closely resembles the sebum which is produced on the skin and um, obviously the scalp as well. So it acts as a great conditioner for the scalp. If you have anything like dry scalp, yoba is perfect for it. I also like to add in some avocado oil which is fantastic for essential fatty acids and it promotes hair growth. Lastly, I add some vitamin E oil which is great for hair growth and it nourishes your scalp. So I add all my hair oils into this applicator bottle which you can find in any kind of beauty store or even online. So I start off by adding my base for my hair oil mixture and that is the sweet almond oil. So I fill my applicator bottle to up to about half, so that's about um, about 120 ml or just above that of sweet almond oil because this is the base and also it's the cheapest oil so um, I'm quite um, heavy handed when I use this because it's not so expensive as avocado oil or the vitamin E oil so I use quite a lot of the sweet almond oil. Now this is where I skipped my castor oil. I should have gone onto the castor oil, but as I said, I got distracted by the kids and um, I didn't add it in this mixture, but I would usually add the castor oil. So instead I am adding my yoba oil and I add about 40 mils of that to my nourishing hair oil mixture. I then add my avocado oil and again, I add about 40 mils of that or a little bit less to my nourishing hair oil mixture. And avocado does turn your um, your hair oil mixture a bit of a darker um, kind of yellowy colour. Lastly I add about 20 ml of my vitamin E oil and um, yeah not too much of that. Then I just place the lid on the applicator bottle nice and tightly and I give my hair oil mixture a nice good shake to make sure everything is nicely mixed together. it that completes my hair oil mixture it is really easy to do I think the hardest part is actually just getting all the ingredients that you need I got all my oils off Amazon but you can get them from any kind of beauty store or any other online shop uh, this was very highly requested so I hope that um, it has satisfied your needs <laughs> And I will see you guys in the next one. Give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. And don't forget to follow Natural Curlies on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm also on Snapchat, guys. So check me out on that. Stay happy, stay healthy. So stay well. Take care for now. Bye-bye.